Hey guys, what is up? I hope everybody has been having a great day. It's gonna be a little windy today. Hopefully it's not too bad on the camera. I apologize if there's any wind noise. I have a really cool video today. It just so happens that one of my former college teammates, uh, Thomas Rosenmuller from North Texas, is in town. And I figured it'd be really cool if we had a fun little match. He is currently on the Challenge Tour, one of the best golfers um, I've ever known. And he's definitely an up and coming uh, pro golfer. So here he is right here. What's up guys, I'm Thomas. Um, been the freshman with Kyle at North Texas and let's see if he beats me today. Yeah, we'll see. That would, that would definitely improve my confidence a lot. So we'll see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you did, please be sure to smash the like button, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. So apparently I'm no longer the longest hitter from North Texas because this is a freaking bomb. He probably hit that about 370, 380. Thomas has always been a very long hitter. He, how fast do you say he's swinging? Probably like low 120s, mid 120s? Low 120s. All right, so that definitely helps. And you can see me right there, just in the back part of the green. So definitely not much left for him. Let's see if he can knock it close. All right guys, so we uh, two fours there, all square through one. And now we are on to the 428 yard par four second. You guys have seen this hole a couple times, I'm sure. And yep, we're gonna be trying to hit it right around the corner of that bend and leave ourselves a nice little shot in there. Well, not the best break there. That was literally the one tree that would have been in my way. So, we're gonna have a fun little time here trying to hit a shot here. See what we can do. Alright guys, so I got 62 yards left, hitting a 62 degree wedge, had to take my medicine there, let's see if we can get up and down and uh, split this hole.
that's good. Well, I thought that was gonna be it for me on this hole. So I have about 25 feet to try to split this hole or else Thomas goes one up. All right, guys, so apparently I didn't realize this, but there was a back tent, back nine start, and we accidentally cut into some of the tee times we started on one. So we've been relocated. We are now in the back nine, hole 10, 372 yard par four. And uh, yeah, we're gonna swing away and uh, see where the balls end up. A good looking shot. Beauty. All right, guys, so here's me, left center of the fairway. So I got left. 118, maybe a bit of a slight headwind. Probably gonna saw off a 54 or a 50 degree. Just try to flight it in there and knock it close. All right, so Thomas put this one out there. Very aggressive play and it paid off so that looks like about 65, 70 yards tops for you right there. Yeah, it's 70. All right, so we can knock it close. This looks really good. If you got up there, that's gonna be really close. So walking up, it looks like Thomas is still away, unfortunately. Looks like you can see me right there on the right, just a bit off the green, but pretty good distance. So I was right on line, just had a little too much zip on it. So he's got about 35 feet here for his birdie. Really good speed there, that is good. Great stroke, almost, that's good. That's things. All right guys, I thought that was gonna be in. So we both um, had pretty good putts there. Both settled for four, so you still one up through three on the hole 11 on the backside of Frisco Lakes, 430 yards. So looks like we're both gonna be swinging away with driver. If there's an issue, just throw one down. Which guy left in good, sir? I got 146 into a little headwind, so. All right, that's it. Right at the left edge. It's definitely been tough hitting into this headwind all day, that's for sure. All right guys, this is where I am, 61 yards left. Really thunderclap that one pretty good. Absolutely exactly what I was trying to do. Gonna be flipping a 62 degree wedge in there, gonna try to get it to zip back a bit and uh, take advantage of this great drive. Thank you. 
All right, so had a good distance on that, just wasn't really good with the timing. That's what I'm working on right now, my wedge, just trying to be a little more soft and have a little bit more loose hands. So the timing might be an issue for some time, but I'm confident once I get used to it, it'll be a very big improvement for me. All right, guys, that feels good to get one there. Back to all square through four on this match. Now we're on to the 12th hole, I believe, at Frisco Lakes. 173 yard, par three. You can see the flag just over the bunker. I'm going with nine iron and try to knock it close. All right, guys, so here I am just short of the bunker. Thomas is just in the bunker on the right. Definitely a lot more wind up there than we thought, but this is the spot to miss because this is a very back to front green. It's actually my first time playing these next couple holes, so I'll be learning of course just as you guys are. So let's see if we can get these up and down. It's a tough shot. <laughs> that is not bad. That hole is literally on a crown, so none of those are easy shots. He does it again. Yeah. I did not think that thing was going to turn enough. Like. Boom. <laughs> he answers. All right, guys, that was a very exciting hole. We both hit some pretty big putts there to keep the match all square going into our sixth hole of the day. I believe hole 13 at Frisco Lakes. 357 yard par four, really wonky little hole. Um, that The flag is somewhere over there. Um, and so to take it right over those bunkers and put ourselves in a good spot to uh, hit a wedge in. See where she is. Ah, so what are we looking at here, Thomas? Uh, we got the ball sitting down, downhill lie, 75 yard fairway bunker shot, so. Yeah, this is definitely a tough shot, but I've seen this guy play. It wouldn't shock me if you hit this to five feet. Oh, baby. Come back. No, it didn't. That's a great shot. I was literally, okay, when he hit that, I saw it come out. I, it was low, but and it was pretty bladed, but it had spin. It was one of those where you caught it just good enough. And I was thinking, man, that's going to rip back to five feet. <laughs> but not a terrible shot from there. Well, no, but I'll take that any day of the yeah, week. Yeah, it's a great shot. This. Uh, looks like he's probably got about 15 feet just past the hole, so that's a great shot. All right, guys, so here's where I am. Just got past this tree, so I'm quite frankly pretty fortunate to be in still in pretty good shot shape here. 73 yards left. It's going to be trying to probably flip a 58-degree wedge up there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the shot from... 
um, down the line. So I might have more of a side view shot for you guys to check out because that tree is right there. So see if we can knock close. Fortunately, I had a little too much on that. Kind of caught a little branch on my back swing, kind of caught me off guard a little bit, but definitely got to work on that distance control. So we got a bit of a dicey chip up here, see if we can get it up and down. Good pace there, so that's his par. Looks like I got probably about 10 feet to have the hole now. Mm, that pressure got to him. All right, so that was not a good hole for me. Thomas goes back to one up through six. Three holes left. And we are on to a 250 yard par three, so no big deal. Um, we'll see how it goes. All right, so what you going with, sir? I got a three iron in my hat. So. All right, let's see if you can rifle it in there. Should be enough. Gonna muscle up and get it up there? Yep. This has an unbelievable line. Just left the pin. That's on the front. Wait, no. All right, guys, I got a five iron. I'm gonna just try to do exactly what Thomas did. Just kind of put it up the left center of the green, roll it onto the front part, and give myself a look at birdie. That's going for left edge of the green. It's a pretty good distance, just a little bit left. Not terrible, I guess. All right, guys, here's the situation. I'm right here, just a bit left of the green. Thomas is on the front edge, so still very much anyone's hole. Got a pretty straightforward chip with my uh, 54 degree wedge. Should be able to knock this one close and uh, see if we can make a three. All right, guys, so that one was within a foot, so it was good. So now we got Thomas, about a 35 footer up the hill, very makeable putt. See if he can knock this in first, too. Go hard. Oh, there's me left. That was a great putt. I don't know how that went out. That I did not see that breaking that much. It didn't break. It right Golf. It. They call it that because every other four letter word was taken. All right guys, so we were all square with two holes to play. 570 some yard par five, looks like it bends a little bit to the left. We're definitely both gonna be letting it go a driver and uh, we'll be punishing this one up the center of the fairway, hopefully.
Should be good. All right, so this green is over those trees right there. Thomas just told me it's 235. What are you working with here? It looks like a five iron, something like that. Look Six iron. I'm not as long as you. <laughs> Same club as on the last hole. Making sure I get it all the way to the green. That's it. Just a little bit left of the green. Not a bad play, especially with all the trouble, right? All right, so as you guys probably guessed, I went in the hazard, unfortunately. So it's a ball I just dropped right there, hitting my third shot into this hole. About 200, I don't have an exact number because the pin is tucked uh, really into there, right around there. So roughly 200, just gonna try and get on the green, two puck in my par and hopefully get out of here by, with a split hole. So that was a terrible shot. Tried to play a hook shot off of a slice slide. That was not a good idea. Luckily, I am okay, 68 yards away. I have to get up and down and hope Thomas is able to scramble from where he is. So let's see if we can get it done. 68 yards and try to knock it close. So we got an interesting little situation here. This is definitely gonna be one of those top 10 shots or bottom 10 shots. Not too much in between. Looks like he's got, what's your strategy here? Uh, I've got 60 hours, so I'm trying to pop this straight up, land it on the green, and have it roll to the flag. I like it, I like the thought process. Got over the tree. Go. It's a great shot from there, honestly. It's about two feet away from being two feet away. <laughs> All right, so it's pretty simple. I gotta make, he's gotta miss, or else I'm dormy one. So definitely a putt I need to make, and we'll see what happens. How did that straighten out? Uh, it was the cup. The cup two and a half feet out. Kicked it right. Well, that'll get her done. All right, guys, we are into the final hole of the match. I am Dormy1, 436 yard par four. Gotta make something happen. Let's see what, I, let's see what goes down. It's pretty good. Uh, so what are we looking at here, sir? Uh, got 181 flag. Flag looks like in the back right. So I have a six iron in my hand because it's a little of breeze. All right. Sounds like some good logic. See if we can knock it close. Left center of the green.
All right, guys, so I got 160 out. Probably gonna go with the, either a sawed off nine or a firmer 46 degree wedge. Thomas looks like he's about a 30 footer, maybe 25. So really need to knock this one close and try to make a three here. All right, guys, that was not a good shot, obviously. Just not really learning how to match up the angles when I have a different side hill lie. So that's definitely something to work on. That's where I am right there. He's right there. Thomas is just off the green on the fringe there. I either need to chip in or hope he three putts and I need to get, get up and down. So let's see what we can do. Not a bad putt from there, so you got about three feet left. Man, how does it break so much? Two putts for Thomas to take the dub. There it is. It was a good match, sir. Thank Looking as sharp as ever, so. Loved it. Yep, so he got me two up. I'm actually pretty happy with how I played. A couple loose shots here and there, but this is stuff that I'll definitely work out as I continue to get ready for pro level golf. Um, Thomas is a great player. I'll link his Instagram and all that good stuff down in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys want to see more matches like this, please let me know. And that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.